Hello dear students. Today we will discuss the solar system. It is one of the topics in the chapter the universe. It is one of the social studies topics. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to answer all the given questions. Question 1. Write a short note on the sun. Answer. The sun is a star which is located at the center of our solar system. It's a huge spinning ball of very hot gases. It is by far the most important source of energy for life on Earth. All of the planets in our solar system, including Earth, are built around the sun. Question 2. Why is Saturn an interesting planet of the solar system? Answer. Saturn is one of the interesting and unique planets because it has thousands of beautiful ringlets around it. It is made up largely of gases. It takes 29.5 Earth years to go around the sun. Most people recognize Saturn by its seven gigantic rings made of ice, which make it different from other planets. We can see Saturn with naked eyes, but cannot see the rings without a telescope. Question 3. Why Pluto is no longer the part of solar system? Answer. Pluto used to be the ninth planet of the solar system. However, in August 2006, the International Astronomical Union decided that since Pluto did not meet all the conditions to be part of the solar system, it would no longer be called a planet. Question 4. What is meant by leap year? Answer. Earth takes approximately 365.25 days to go once around the sun. Question 5. Why will your weight be more than double on Jupiter? Answer. The force of gravity on Jupiter is 2.4 times as much as on Earth. If you weighed 50 kg on Earth, you would weigh almost 120 kg on Jupiter. Question 6. Write the main characteristics of the Moon. Answer. 1. Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. 2. The Moon does not have any light of its own, but reflects the light of the Sun. 3. The Moon takes 28 days to revolve around the Earth. Question 7. Define Eclipse. Briefly explain how solar and lunar eclipses are caused. Answer. Eclipse occurs when there is the total or partial temporary obscuring of one heavenly body by another. Three heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon and the earth come into alignment due to which the one body passes into the shadow of another. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the earth and the sun, blocking it out. Sometimes it is only a partial eclipse, so that the sun seems to have a bite taken out of it. But in a full eclipse, the sun disappears behind the moon and darkness falls on part of the earth where eclipse is taking place. Lunar Eclipse When the earth comes between the sun and the moon, it casts its shadow on the moon causing lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse occurs only during the full moon phases. When totally eclipsed, the moon is completely within the Earth's shadow and lasts up to four hours and can be seen on one part of the Earth facing the moon. Question number eight. Describe phases of the moon. Answer. We have a slightly different view of the moon each night. 
we describe how the moon looks with the following eight moon phases. For example, new, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full, waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent. The moon goes around the sun once in 28 days. Once in this period, the earth, the moon, and the sun are in a line. If the moon is between the earth and the sun, there will be no light to reflect. As a result, the moon is not seen. Sometimes we can see a little ring of round the edge of the moon, which we call moonshine. When the new moon appears on the horizon, it is a thin crescent shape. A week later, the moon will be at right angles to the earth sun line so that we see half of it shining. A week later still, the moon, the earth and the sun are in line again so that the whole face of the moon is lit up. In another week, the moon is at right angles to the earth sun line so that we see a half moon again. A week later, the moon will have waned, that is reduced, to a crescent again. Dear students, this is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much. Goodbye.